All right, to watch this video for Tuesday, October 30th. Um, another ugly day in the SPY. We had, you can see the SPY closed right there. These are daily candles and opened up nicely today and sold off again. Um, if you look at this, the SPY hasn't broken a previous day's high since, I'll hover over and see what day this was, October 17th. It broke the high that it put in on the 16th. And ever since then, it hasn't broken a previous day's high. So it's pretty darn weak. I always say, you know, uh, stocks or the market take the stairs up and the elevator down, um, which I actually like that because usually when sell-offs occur, they can be nasty, but they don't take that long to get where they're going. Then you then you form a new range and you can, you know, then you can trade the range and so on. Um, I'm doing just fine. Uh, building a list every night and just trading the stocks that are in play. I'll, I'm going to slide this over real quick. In a weak market today, I took a screenshot of my PXS call. 195 idea with a 189 stop. And it was right in this tight little flag with the high of day just above for a potential squeeze. Now, why is this such a uh, clean setup? Well, because one, shippers were strong today. Like one of the few bright spots um, in the market, right? And two, while the SPY was ugly, this thing's holding up pretty well and it's putting in this flag. And if it breaks this flag, and there was a big seller at 194, that's why I called it at 195, big seller at 194. If that seller gets taken out, a lot of times it can catapult the stock higher, but especially if there's a catalyst above. What's a catalyst? In this case, the earlier high of day, which I think was 197. So if you get through that 194 seller, you're probably going to get enough momentum to light up the new high of day ticker, and then you might have some shorts caught off guard, especially in a weak tape and, you know, a baby shipper all of a sudden is, oh, oh, and one other thing I liked about it was the whole number two above, which can oftentimes, if you've watched our free inflection points webinar, we have actually two parts to that, um, whole numbers can act as inflection points, especially if they're at an interesting part uh, on the daily chart. And in this case, two was, because it was right above this flag, right above the high of day, and for the reasons I gave before, possible squeeze. So. Um, another great thing about this setup was 195 and 189, six cents risk, right? So you get long right here, stops right there, and look at that, um, all the way to whatever it was, 245 or something. A 50 cent move on a dollar 95 basis is pretty damn impressive in uh, what you'd have to call uh, a pretty darn ugly tape. So there's an example of how I treat trading like a sniper would. I don't do anything unless I have a low risk setup like that. I also want to slide this over, and this is. Um, this is heartbreaking to me to show, but I tweeted if I were a gambler and I'm not, I'd nibble on Amazon into this week close. And you can see when I posted it, it was 1505, 1505. It had just flushed below 1500. Um, and then I posted that. And even before the close, it went up $35. I think it went even a little higher than that in aftermarket. I'm not sure where it is now, but this is depressing because I didn't, I didn't mess with it. Um, but wow. What a huge move there. And, and the reason, I'll show you that real quick. And Amazon is actually on my overnight list for tomorrow simply because um, it's way, way oversold. Um, so I have some of the bigger names on watch, which I usually don't. I'm a small cap trader, but Amazon is on bounce watch tomorrow, although it would have been already a really nice bounce to grab it right around that 1500 level. Um, I just think this is overdone to the downside. Massive volume these last couple days. This being, uh, you know, a Wall Street darling, um, could absolutely get what I would call a possible violent snapback bounce. So I definitely want to watch it tomorrow. Um, Netflix, kind of the same thing. Netflix has been has fallen from 380-ish down below 280-ish at one point on intraday basis. I look to the left. I say, wow, the low back here was 271.22 right here. And what did it hit today? 275.40. So I would actually like to see maybe it flush. I'll even draw a line there. I'd like to see it flush below... Uh, this level on intraday basis, especially if, it, if it's fallen pretty far on an intraday basis to get there. And I would look for a snapback bounce below that. Doesn't mean I just indiscriminately buy if it breaks that level, but then I will look for an intraday reversal. Um, NVIDIA is another example, really beaten up. This was, um, I don't know, maybe, well, let's, I'll give you the date. On October 2nd, this was um, $292.76. So it's fallen over $100 this month. Uh, another example of a huge intraday candle. Look to the left and the most recent low you can find, you just bring your cursor straight across until you bump into the most recent low was right there on December 5th. 
and it was 180.58. You'll notice it went below that on an intraday basis and then it had a violent snapback. So anytime you have a long intraday candle to take out a clear recent low or a clear low on the chart, this one wasn't that recent, um, but it had fallen a long way to take this candle out. Look what happens when you switch to intraday. You had that shape flushing and then you get that violent snapback. So that's kind of an example of what I'll be looking for tomorrow in some of these names. So Nvidia is also on Bounce Watch. Um, CGC is on Bounce Watch. It's one of the pot names. Um, it's kind of the one, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the one that sort of started it all. Um, and it's fallen from almost 60 now down to 33. The 200 day is right there. And it's way ahead of itself to the downside. So if we can pierce the 200 day, I'll be looking in this area for a snapback bounce. Remember, I'm a day trader. I tweeted today. Um, I don't hold overnight. I don't even hold my wife overnight. It's an old joke, but I say it all the time um, because I don't. I mean, cash every night. So uh, none of these are meant to be investment ideas. They're only going to be traded by me um, if I get an intraday A plus setup on them. Okay, so just keep that in mind. PYX, another pot play really decimated it hit a high of 52.43 on october 9th and it's all the way down you know more than uh, cut in half also down to 22.41 and the 200 days right there i'd love to see this hit the 200 day i'll be looking for a bounce there as well um pot stocks were stupid done to the upside and now i think you could say the same thing to the downside um pti one of the stronger stocks today uh, i made a few hundred in this one today but it didn't follow through like i thought it might Having said that, still great relative strength to the market and held up pretty well. So I want to watch that one tomorrow too. Uh, a few more. ESEA um, holding up fairly well. The, the shippers are doing okay. Um, it's kind of one bright spot. So if they get any kind of a wind at their sales tomorrow, wind in their sales tomorrow, I want to watch this one for a follow through of today's bounce. It great, had great relative strength today. ZIXI is just a recent very strong stock that you could argue, hey, maybe this got taken down today with the market. This one might just, especially if there's any strength in the market tomorrow, this one might just turn right back up. And then finally, CASI had this big volume day, at least for the stock, big relative volume day um, on October 23rd, where it ran from 283 to 420. That's a huge move. Came all the way back down and then a little bit of a volume spike today and also kind of a bright spot in a weak market. Went from 278 to 351 on an intraday basis before closing at 318. So this one's worth watching as well. Um, you know, just be careful, take it easy out there, wait for those A plus setups and treat trading like a sniper. Um, if you're not a member of our chat room, look at the link down below. Uh, we have made an entry to our chat room, $79 right now. So check that out. Um, and we're seeing a lot of new faces and loving it. All right, I'm done babbling. See everybody tomorrow.